Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 23rd, 2020. I apologize in advance to my viewers for not broadcasting yesterday, but I was waiting to hear from good news from President Trump about a stimulus package. Unfortunately, I did not receive it, as I'm sure you guys already know. But we also find out that President-elect Joe Biden says the darkest days of the COVID crisis is yet to come, but he promises that his COVID relief plan will include a new round of stimulus checks, among other things. But the stimulus checks are the main priority. House Democrats will bring forward a bill to provide direct payments or stimulus checks, since they're both the same thing, of $2,000 to increase pressure on the Senate Republicans. So let's see if that actually works, right? Because now Trump wants 2000 now the Democrats want it. And they're both going to push it to see if they can get out of the Senate Republicans or out of the Republicans in general. How's that? Trump says that he don't support the bipartisan stimulus bill because the current bill contains a lot of unnecessary spending in it. And he's talking about the money going out to foreign countries to help them out, as well as out to like restaurants and other businesses along those lines. He thinks that those are unnecessary spending. Even though those those things that might go out to foreign countries to have nothing to do with the stimulus package at all, and this, if you want, I actually have a video that I will play for you here in a little bit of exactly what he said. So if you stick with me, I get to feed on that ASAP. Let's see, see. talking about voter fraud. <laughs> apparently, a Pennsylvania man has been accused of voter fraud because he voted for his mother that passed away over a decade ago. And the funny thing is, is their votes went for Trump. So if Trump's going to worry about voter fraud, then he actually might want to worry about the people voting for him and see if they're alive, right? And, and American companies will no longer be required to provide sick leave to their employees if they have a COVID-19 or COVID-related 19 related illness. And it's all thanks to a bill that uh, good old Mitch McConnell in the Senate um, put forward. So we thank him for no sick leave for COVID-19 at all. And on to the stimulus news, we have uh, basically Pelosi is no longer our stimulus monster because now that Trump has put forward his foot saying that he wants $2,000 checks, Pelosi is standing right behind him and says, yeah, I got that. I'm supporting you on that one. So try to put more to, to put more increased pressure on the Republicans to make it so they send out the um, $2,000 checks to the people. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but I hope it does. That'd be very nice. I've actually done the numbers on that, and if, if my numbers are correct, we're looking around about $560 billion to send out $2,000 students checks to all Americans that qualify for it. I mean, my numbers could be off, but hopefully they're pretty good on. But like I said, I mean, that's, I mean, that's still not bad. They're, they're already repurposing $560 billion of it. The only new money that's going in there is less than $340 billion. So if they actually increase the um, stimulus check amount, the check, but the stimulus package amount by, I'd say, what, about $400 billion? To take it to $1.3 trillion, we could all get a $2,000 stimulus check. So I'm hoping that everything goes good with that. That'd be awesome because I know every one of us that's watching this video, everyone that is not watching this video, can actually benefit from a $2,000 stimulus check. That'd help them buy food, possibly get a place to stay, if not attempt to pay a little bit of rent towards any landlord or mortgage, mortgage companies, and to take care of the family. So I'm hoping for the $2,000. But truthfully, most likely expecting the 600. And let's see here. And you already know Trump rejected the $900 billion stimulus package. And he's vetoed the government spend the government spending bill. Well, that okay, I not vetoed, but he all, that also includes the government spending bill, sorry. That both the House and Congress passed on Monday. In fact, if you want to know why he did it, I actually got a clip for you right here. So I'll be right back. Throughout the summer, Democrats cruelly blocked COVID relief legislation 
in an effort to advance their extreme left-wing agenda and influence the election. Then, a few months ago, Congress started negotiations on a new package to get urgently needed help to the American people. It's taken forever. However, the bill they are now planning to send back to my desk is much different than anticipated. It really is a disgrace. For example, among the more than 5,000 pages in this bill, which nobody in Congress has read because of its length and complexity, it's called the COVID relief bill, but it has almost nothing to do with COVID. This bill contains $85.5 million for assistance to Cambodia, $134 million to Burma, $1.3 billion for Egypt and the Egyptian military, which will go out and buy almost exclusively Russian military equipment. $25 million for democracy and gender programs in Pakistan. $505 million to Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Panama. $40 million for the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C., which is not even open for business. $1 billion for the Smithsonian, and an additional $154 million for the National Gallery of Art. Likewise, these facilities are essentially not open. $7 million for reef fish management, $25 million to combat Asian carp, $2.5 million to count the number of amberjack fish in the Gulf of Mexico, a provision to promote the breeding of fish in federal hatcheries, $3 million in poultry production technology, $2 million to research the impact of down trees, $566 million for construction projects at the FBI. The bill also allows stimulus checks for the family members of illegal aliens, allowing them to get up to $1,800 each. This is far more than the Americans are given. Despite all of this wasteful spending and much more, the $900 billion package provides hardworking taxpayers with only $600 each in relief payments. And not enough money is given to small businesses, and in particular restaurants, whose owners have suffered so grievously. They were only given a deduction for others to use in business their restaurant for two years. This two-year period must be withdrawn, which will allow the owners to obtain financing and get their restaurants back in condition. Congress can terminate it at a much later date, but two years is not acceptable. It's not enough. Congress found plenty of money for foreign countries, lobbyists, and special interests while sending the bare minimum to the American people who need it. It wasn't their fault. It was China's fault, not their fault. I am asking Congress to amend this bill and increase the ridiculously low $600 to $2,000 or $4,000 for a couple. I am also asking Congress to immediately get rid of the wasteful and unnecessary items from this legislation and to send me a suitable bill or else the next administration will have to deliver a COVID relief package. And maybe that administration will be me and we will get it done. Thank you very much. And as you notice, Trump said that, um, well, everything was critical as part of the stimulus, pa the stimulus plan. And as you know, he brought up like Cambodia and, and Egypt and stuff like that, and it's money going to them. And say that was sort of a spending that has nothing to do with the stimulus plan. And how he wanted um, $600 stimulus checks, sorry, $2,000 stimulus checks to go out to American families. And he basically just made Congress, well, the Republicans pissed off at him because they're not going to be happy with the fact that he wants $2,000 and they're only, they only want to give 600 bucks. So he just pissed off the Republicans. And he says if he doesn't get that, he won't sign it. 
I mean, he could be he he could basically veto it, and since they got a majority of the vote, more than two thirds of the votes from both the House and the Senate, they could actually reverse his veto. But he could also pocket veto that by not signing it at all, and just you know, stuck in his pocket and forgetting about it, and let Biden deal with it. And you also know he said that he that the next uh, administration would have to deal with that, even if that was including his administration. As you know, as Trump has already lost the electoral votes. He's already lost the people's votes. And the only reason why that he'd say something like that is because on January 6th, when the Congress counts the votes from the Electoral College, that he is going to have a massive protest there of all the, 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 2020, the mega 2020 marchers as well as the um, Proud Boys, which is a political violence group, which would not be good. And basically, Mitch McConnell basically called back all the Senate that would be back on the 29th of this month to respond to Trump's veto on the Defense Authorization Act. So when they come back, if he doesn't sign that stimulus package bill, since our checks are going to be delayed, as you probably tell, um, they're going to have to deal with that as well. The government is funded for another seven days, which will end next week, most likely on Wednesday at midnight. Yeah, give give about Wednesday at midnight of next week, and hopefully by then, at least something will get done. Because I know everyone out there is watching this, and those that don't watch us, I know you all really need bad and need help right now, because I know how bad it hurts to struggle out there. I mean, I, I see it everywhere I go. I mean, it's just it's just sad what the government's doing to us. The other countries take care of their citizens; our country screws our, it screws its citizens, and it doesn't use lube, so it hurts a lot. But um, before I continue ranting and raving, I want to say to all my viewers and what else that doesn't see this video, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. I will broadcast again tomorrow and I'll be throughout a, a Merry Christmas on YouTube on Friday. You guys, and whenever any new information comes available, I will be more than happy to relate to you guys because that's what I do and I actually enjoy what I do. So until then, you guys have a wonderful night and I will. Broadcast later. Bye.